Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is about how to make drop strings. So let's get started. We will start by making royal icing. We will need 3 cups of warm water, 5 tablespoons of meringue powder, and 2 pounds of powdered sugar. Pour the water into the mixer. Then add the meringue powder and dissolve with a whisker or a fork. Then gradually add the sugar at low speed. When all the sugar has been added, raise the speed to the, of the mixer to high and beat for 8 to 10 minutes to a stiff consistency. And this is the portion that I'm going to be using to practice the drop strings. To give the royal icing a smooth and elastic consistency, for each cup of royal icing, add one teaspoon of corn syrup instead of water and stir well. You may also add a pinch of CMC powder for every cup that you use of royal icing. To practice the drop strings, I'm using a disposable pastry bag and tip number three. I like to use this disposable bag because it's very thin and flexible. You may also use the uh, parchment paper bag or any other bag. When filling your pastry bag, do not feel past your four fingers. In this way, you get a better control of your bag. In other words, your hand should completely cover the entire bag you are holding. When you are not using your royal icing, be sure to cover it with a damp cloth so that way it will not dry. And here we have our practice board. To begin, lightly touch surface of the board, squeeze while pulling to the side to the end. Always pull the string towards you and in the air. Be sure not to drag the string on the board. Keep it in the gliding in the air. If you make a mistake, you can fix it using a toothpick. We do the same process to make double or triple cords or strings.
I'm going to demonstrate two ways to make overlapped strings. This is one of them. And this is the other way in making overlapped strings. In this way, you will notice how the strings will interlock with each other. We will be using these overlapping strings to decorate our cake. For the decoration, I will be using a scribe tool, pastry bags with tips number 3 and 5, a cake board, the diameter of the cake, and a piece of paper cut into a round with the number of segments that we would like to divide our cake. To mark the segments on the cake, we will cut a, a circle of the same size of the perimeter of the cake. Make the segments folding the circle in half several times to acquire the desired segments. Using large pins, fasten the paper to the fondant and mark the cake into segments. Using a ruler or a scraper, mark the bottom of the cake. Guide yourself by the marks that you had made on top. Now it's time to turn the cake over. We are going to put the bottom on top and the top at the bottom. I'm trying to focus the camera so you can see how I'm going to turn the cake over. If you cannot do this by yourself, then you need to ask for someone's help to help you turn the cake over. Now 
Now, let me explain something. The reason why I have that white cylinder underneath the cake is because as you pipe the string going down, anything that goes over the edge or just on the edge will interfere when you are going to pipe the strings. That's why you need to place something in the middle that is not as wide as the cake. That's why we placed first a cardboard to support the cake. And to save time, I just wanted to show you how I piped the strings past the edge of the cake and, and hanging from it. Then on top, I also added some dots. The dots help to fasten the strings in place. Some people don't use them, but I do. The dots were made with tip number five. Right now, I'm going to make double strings for this decoration at the bottom, just like we practiced before with the practice board. It's very important that we use either CMC or corn syrup in the royal icing as we will have less breakage. I just like to remind you again not to drag the uh, the strings on the surface. You have to pull and lift the tip off so that way the icing will not drag on the surface of the cake or on the surface of the decoration that you are piping. And to clean any mistakes or any mess that you might have done by mistake, always use the scribe tool or a pen. I'm going to be making dots. These dots are going to guide me to pipe my next set of strings. I'm using tip number five to pipe these dots. While these dots dry, I'm going to be working on the top. String works require a lot of patience. So if something does not come out perfect, then don't worry about it. Just remove it and pipe it again. 
the icing is very flexible because of the CNC or the corn syrup. That's why we need that to make the icing flexible and strong. And here at the bottom, I'm making double lapping, double strings. What that means is the strings are double and the strings also overlap on the previous roll. While the strings of the bottom dry, I'm going to be working in the top. And as you can see, I ended up adding an extra string to the double that I have piped all over, all around before. So I also added one string at the bottom as well. And now all we need to do is just sit and let it dry. And now that the strings are finally dry, I'm just looking to see if there is any string that had fallen, if any one had braked so I could replace it before I turn the cake around again. And now it's time to turn our cake the other way now we are going to turn it the right way and if you need someone to help you do this please do so because you know cakes can be heavy even if it's a small cake but they can be heavy especially if they are covered with fondant And now it's time to remove the cake board very carefully not to touch any uh, of the uh, string works we remove it and that's it So now I'm going to be working downward. I need to complete the circles. These circles here, they are going to be made with triple overlapping strings. And now right here, we are going to start the overlapping. Well, I finished with all that piping. Then after that, I piped some stars on each of the uh, joinings of the all the circles and and the arches. I piped stars there to cover the joining of the circles. Also, I piped a border of beads at the bottom of the cake. This has been all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me. I hope that you liked the tutorial and I hope that you had as much fun as I did. Please share and subscribe to my channel if you like the tutorial. I will see you back here again soon with another tutorial similar to this one. 
In the meantime, God bless you.